welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, the objective type question from the subject uh, antenna and microwave engineering uh, from the unit 3 antenna arrays okay already i posted the three videos for this unit 3 uh, if you want to learn i will give the link uh, for that videos in the description box you can see so today we are going to discuss about uh, the binomial array and chepichev array multiple choice questions so the first one which of the following array is used to synthesize pattern without side loops so binomial array uh, is the synthesis uh, is used to synthesize the pattern without uh, side loop array in the remaining thing the side loops are available okay the next one the excitation amplitudes of the binomial array follow dash that is the excitation amplitudes means so uh, the array means you know uh, n number of elements uh, that the binomial array it consists of uh, two element three element four element uh, of uh, similar antennas uh, that uh, each antenna is uh, excited by what is the amplitude so the excitation amplitudes of the binomial array it follows the pascal triangle okay that means you see the pascal if uh, the binomial array consists of only one element means so we have to give the current of ratio 1 if the array consists of two element means uh, is the ratio 1 is to 1 okay the two antenna is fed with equal magnitude of current and if the binomial array consists of three element means the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay then four element means 1 3 3 1 okay uh, this is the pascal triangle uh, which of the following is the disadvantage of a binomial array it has low amplitude variation it has high range of variation it has high half power beam width low half power beam width so which one is the disadvantage of binomial array means it has high range of amplitude variation that means so you see if uh, the array consists of four element means the current amplitude applied is 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so the amplitude variations are high if it is a n uh, that is a 10 element array means the variations are very high okay that is the disadvantage in that binomial array and the next one the binomial array has high half power beam width compared to dolph chepichev it's a true or false it's a true only okay binomial array it has a wide beam uh, so the half power beam width is also high the next one which of the following can be excitation amplitudes of binomial array with four elements okay so in order to uh, write this uh, excitation amplitude we have to write the pascal triangle so already we did you know so that is one is one two element means one one for three element how to make means this one you have to write here then the next element is the addition of these two so one plus one two then the last element is followed by this last element similarly four element means this one you just write here then 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 1 3 then this last one you have to write so four element means what is the ratio 1 3 3 1 3. similarly you just write the pascal triangle so the excitation amplitudes of the binomial array if four elements are 1 3 3 1 3. then the next one dolph chepichev becomes binomial array when there is there are no side loops okay uh dolph chepichev with no side loop means it is said to be the binomial array yes okay it's a correct only uh then the next one which of the following is the key feature of a uh, chepichev array so have constant side loop and the elements are placed uniformly have varying side loop and the elements are placed uniformly minor loops are present at a modulus of x greater than 1 major loops are present at a modulus of x less than 1 okay uh, that means it have the constant amplitude okay constant side loops and uh, elements are placed uniformly okay it's a correct thing then in chepichev array its array factor it's approximated to chepichev polynomial yes okay in chepichev array the array factor is approximated to the chepichev polynomial okay then dash is used uh, to obtain the array with any desired level side loop level okay any desired side loop level which array is used so the chepichev technique 
is used to obtain the array with any desired side loop level okay so in order to design the array with any desired side loop level we have to use the chepichev uh, array then the next one uh, which of the following uh, hold is true for chepichev polynomial so the chepichev polynomial it is given by uh, you see this is the chepichev polynomial t not of x is equal to 1 if m is 0 If m is one, t one of x is equal to x. If m equal to two, t two of x is equal to two x squared minus one. Okay, similarly, etc. So, what is the general relation means? The t m of minus x is equal to minus one to the power m t m of x. Okay, this is the Chebyshev polynomial. So, the Chebyshev polynomial satisfy the condition t m of minus x equal to minus one to the power m t m of x. Okay, the next one the recurrence relation for the Chebyshev polynomial is dash. Okay, the recurrence relation for the Chebyshev polynomial is t m of z is equal to two z t m minus one of z minus T m minus two of z. Okay, this is the recurrence relation for the Chebyshev polynomial. The T m of z is obtained by two z multiplied with T m minus one of z minus T m minus two of z. The next one, the value of T m of zero for every odd value of m is dash. Okay. For every odd value of m, that is m is equal to one, three, five, etc. What is the T m of zero value? So the T m of uh, uh, zero value it is always zero. Okay, the T m of zero for m is odd is zero. For T m of zero for m is even means minus one to the power m by two. These are all the uh, standard values. You just remember it. Then what is the value of T m of zero when m is even number? So minus one to the power m minus two. Okay, so already we discussed in the previous question. You see, m is odd, T m of zero is zero. For m is even, T m of zero equal to minus one to the power m divided by two. Okay. Uh, the next thing, the value of uh, T not of hundred is dash. Uh, that is T m is zero. So if m is zero, t not of any x value it is one. Okay, t not of x value it is one. So t not of hundred any uh, x value it is a one only. The next thing, the value of t m of minus one is dash. So t m of minus one, which is that is uh, already we studied the relation. The t m of minus x is equal to Minus one to the power m. Okay, so you see here, the t m of minus x is equal to minus one to the power m t m of x. Okay, so t m of uh, here the question is uh, t m of minus one. So the t m of minus one is nothing but minus one to the power m into uh, the t m of one. Okay, so the answer is uh, minus one to the power m. The next one. The value of t m of z in the range between minus one to one is dash. The t m of z, the value of t m of z, uh, the range is minus one to one. Okay, if the polynomial oscillates between minus one to one, with the amplitude varying from minus one to one, for the z value between minus one to one, the t m of z value is also the amplitude, the minimum amplitude minus one, the maximum amplitude is one. The next thing, which of the following statement is true about the Chebyshev function t m of x? Okay, uh, it is a continuously increasing function after x is equal to one. It's a continuously decreasing function after x is equal to one. It's a continuously increasing function after x equal to zero. Decreasing function after x equal to zero. It's a continuously increasing function after x is equal to one. Okay, after x is equal to one, the Chebyshev function t m of x is continuously increasing function. These are all the properties of that Chebyshev function. The next one, uh, how many times? The polynomial t m of x crosses the x-axis between minus one to one. 
5 times okay that is uh, generally t m of x it crosses m time the x axis between minus 1 to 1 so here the m value is 5 so 5 time it crosses the line okay m time it will cross the x axis in between the range minus 1 to 1 uh, which of the following statement is true the polynomial are unstable at interval minus 1 to 1 the polynomials are marginally stable at the interval minus 1 to 1 the polynomial does not oscillate the polynomial crosses the axis n minus 1 time at minus 1 to 1 okay the polynomial crosses m times at minus 1 to 1 okay so the second is the current correct answer the polynomials are marginally stable at the interval minus 1 to 1 the next one the condition for the existence of main loop according to the Chepichev is dash. Okay. The condition of existence of main loop. The main loop uh, lies between the modulus of x is greater than 1. The modulus of x greater than 1 is the condition for the occurrence of main loop. Uh, the next thing, which of the following statement uh, regarding Chepichev polynomial is true. The polynomial Tm of x is symmetric for m is even, symmetric for m is odd, anti-symmetric for m is even, symmetric for m is even and odd. Okay. The polynomial Tm of x is symmetric for m is even. If the m value is even means the Tm of x is symmetric. Okay. Uh, then uh, which of the following properties of Chepichev polynomial is false? The minor loops have unequal amplitudes. Okay. Uh, the minor loop have unequal amplitudes. This is the property of Chepichev. Uh, the this is false. Okay. The minor loops have unequal amplitude. It is false. Uh, then the polynomial is symmetric for M S even. It's a correct answer. The polynomial crosses x times uh, x axis m time. This is also correct. The minor loop exists for modulus of x less than 1. It's also correct. So last 3 is correct. This is the false statement. Then the next one. All polynomial of order m pass through the point dash. Okay. Uh, all polynomial, it pass through the point 1, 1. Of polynomial of order m, it crosses the point 1, 1. The next thing, all the nulls occur at a minus 1 to 1 in Chepichov polynomial. All the nulls at minus 1 to 1 in the Chepichov polynomial. It's a false. Okay. All nulls in Chepichov polynomial occur in the range minus 1 to 1. Okay. Uh, so it's a false statement. Then the next one, as the order of polynomial increases, the slope becomes steeper. The polynomial increases, the order m s increases, the slope becomes steeper. Yes. Okay. The slope becomes steeper. Then the next question, which of the following method proposed to design array uh, with any side loops? Okay. So which method is used to design array with uh, any desired side loop? The Dolph Chepichow. Okay. If you want to design array with the desired side loop level, we are using the method, it is called as the dolph chepichov In binomial array, no side loop. Okay, so this method is used to uh, design array with a desired side loop level. So these are all the, uh, then uh, the thing about uh, the Taylor and uh, broadside array have side loops. Binomial array have no side loop. Okay, dolph chepichov is used to propose the array with a desired side loop. Okay, so these are the some of the questions about the binomial array and the Chepichev array. Okay, antenna array uh, from, uh, in, from the antenna and the microwave engineering. Okay, so thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos. If you want to learn all MCQ in the antenna and microwave engineering, so in my channel, the antenna microwave engineering playlist is there. So in that, uh, all 23 videos are there, you can see. Okay, thank you.